Yo, what it do, son? So I wanted to come up here. I want to talk to y'all real quick. I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of maintaining your purity. I know in this world that lust is a real thing that happens all around this world. And so many can be tempted and probed into falling into this temptation of falling into pornography and falling into premarital sex. But I want to encourage you today to refrain from these things because these things are truly harmful to you because you don't understand there is an attack. The lust, it affects your body and it affects your mind. It alters the way that you think. It alters the way that you look at men and women. And the devil is really at work. So I want to encourage you guys today to focus on maintaining your physical purity. But not only your physical purity, you have to be careful with your eyes. See, because some of you, you say, I'm a virgin, but your mouth is an aversion. Your hands is an aversion. Your tongue is an aversion. So you need to be very careful. You need to be very careful. Maintain your purity in all areas. Maintain your purity is so important because the things that you watch, the things that you listen to, the people that you're around, they all play into maintaining your purity. The things that you hear. The things that you hear and that you allow people to put into your mind, the people that you hang around, they can put thoughts and things into your head that can cause you to sin, that can cause you to go probe into that temptation. But I want you guys to resist that temptation. I know that it gets gets difficult sometimes. We all deal with it. But I want to give you guys a Bible verse that's will this Bible verse will help you combat it. When you feel weak or when you feel tempted, use this Bible verse. And this Bible verse is your weapon. 2 Timothy 2 and 22 says, Run from anything that stimulates youthful lust. Instead, pursue righteous living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those that call upon the Lord with pure hearts. So what that is saying, it says, run from these things, run from anything that causes you to fall into that sin that is so great and be careful of the people that you hang around. Because if you hang around the wrong people, they will cause you to fall into that sin. Because some people that you're around, they're talking about sexual things, they're talking about things, the music that you listen to, you have to be very cautious. You have to be very cautious. You have to be very cautious. And there are some people who get yourselves in the situations that you don't want to be in. There's some people who have had premarital sex. Now you have another child that you didn't plan for. You have a child that you didn't plan for. Now you have drama with a woman or a man that you don't even want to deal with, but you have a child with them. So you have to handle it, right? There's so much that comes behind it. There are STDs going around and things that you don't even think about. There's stress, the drama, everything that gets passed on with it. This is not all the time, but this is this this is real life. That you have to be very careful. I want to encourage you guys to wait till marriage. And if you have a problem with pornography, if you have a problem with an addiction, talk to somebody. Talk to God. Because just because there's some people that get married trying to get over their problem with lust and it will not help. You're still going to have the problem with lust. Get help. Talk to God. If you need a friend to talk to, talk to somebody. Get help. These things are real and this is not just a game. This is not just a game. This is not something to be played around with. And I want to encourage you guys to maintain your purity. To maintain your purity. God meant for one man and one woman to be together. And it was meant to be a blessing to us. It was meant to be a gift. God blessed it. And said, be fruitful and multiply. It's a gift that God wanted us to enjoy within the confines of marriage. So I want to encourage you today to focus on maintaining your purity. If you're dating somebody, there may be certain things that you cannot do. There may be certain things and you have to evaluate the situation. If something makes you uncomfortable, if doing certain things makes you uncomfortable, or if you feel convicted, don't ignore the conviction that God places on your heart because he's trying to protect you. So I hope this encourages you and I hope this blesses you. Before we go, I want to say a prayer to combat the spirit of lust. And I want to want you guys to focus on purity. So I want you guys to say this prayer with me that Father God, in the name of Jesus, 
to set us free, to set us free from anything that is holding us bondage, anything that is holding us bondage in our mind, that the spirit of lust has no control over us. Father God, that you would free us, that you would guide us, that your light would shine upon us brightly in any dark area of our life. Father God, I speak freedom, God, to any addiction, God, to any, to any addiction, God. Father God, I pray that right now, God, that their minds be opened up, that they begin to think clearly, God, and that those lustful thoughts and those lustful desires, that they be gone. Father God, and I pray, God, that my brothers and sisters right here, they know that I that they are free. And if you agree with this, I want you to say, I am free. I am free. So I love you guys. And I want you to type I am free in the comments, too, if you agree with this. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day, man. Be blessed and stay hard. Stay encouraged all day, every day. Peace out, dude. Love y'all.